we are going to come here first to talk about if you wanted another system to uh, ingest data from .cms. So let's say you've got some external server, you need to read .cms data, uh, you can do it right out of the REST API. And how do you do that? Well, we've already covered in our uh, query syntax the different ways that you can query for data. You can add that right to the URL. So uh, remember we queried the movies by release date, right? And we could even put a release date um, maybe we only want the last month of data. Remember how we did that in the release date? We put the bracket and then 07, 01, um, and uh, 2018, 2, 07, Right. And if we query that, we click search, and um, we're also release date descending, right? And then we click a show query here. We get our movie release date descending. We get our date range here, not only in our example velocity, but we also get it immediately in a REST API call, and it builds the REST API call dynamically, and we could feed that exactly to an external system, right? And if we want to, we could click right here and click on that JSON or something, the way that it's forming, uh, maybe that it doesn't like about my dates. This is just our query builder here. Something's not escaping right. Okay, so let's clear that and just do it by release date and do it more simple and show query and look at our JSON feed. Okay, so something wasn't being escaped right by the um, the little uh, the JSON query builder. But here you could take that, um, this URL and you can feed this URL directly into, you know, if I open up, um, you know, an incognito window. As long as my content CMS anonymous, I just paste that URL in and there's my content. As long as your external system knows how to read JSON and can iterate over these um, fields, then we're looking at Ratatouille, we're looking at the Leon the Professional, we're looking at the Incredibles, all of that content that we just put into the system. Uh, together. Here's the categories, the last review date, um, the inode, the identifier, uh, the URL title, everything that you need to ingest that uh, data externally, right? Um, our asset, you know, how to re refer to the poster, you know, all of that data has been set. The screenshot ID, you know, all of that has been set. So we build for you on the back end an automatic query searcher no matter what type of content that it happens to be. We could take a look at news, you know, and query the, the news and see that as JSON as well and see all of that news content and news articles and WYSIWYG content and everything. Right. And we also have an XML representation of that data as well. So and you can see the API content render and then it's passing XML and then the query. And then you could now that, you know, with the after studying the query syntax, you can take this exact plus content type news, you know, content host, you know, all of that. You just develop your query and then, you know, properly replace your, you know, anything that's not URL friendly, like a space with, uh, you know, the percent sign, etc. cetera. Um, and then you can pass that into the Lucene query parameter here, right? And then just using an external system. Um, just to show you an example of 
something that I recently built just for a POC. And this is just, you know, um, sample data, you know, here that I created um, just to show you what you can do. So let's look at now this would it'd be our 433 version. So yeah, playing around with the login page. But uh, all right. So now if you actually go to um, this we're developing this little practice manual here with just some some sample test data. It's got space station data. It's got, but um, if we hit this front end um, kind of intranet example, and you can see it's just got junk data on it. Um, we could take a look at uh, what's changed here, and this what's changed actually has a REST API pull of not only uh, one content by the identifier of the content, but it also has every inode version, every change that's ever been made on this piece of content and exactly who did it, right? So, um, and the timestamp. And uh, I can select any of these, you know, so I'll collect, uh, select this um, automated testing facility. And we see that's automated testing facility being compared to the latest version and doing a diff of every text field. Right. So if I select the the old one of the oldest versions here, you know, uh, select one from a long time ago, you can see a lot more changes were made. And if we logged in onto the uh, back end of this instance, we'd be able to see. Just as an example here, uh, I think it's because I'm in the same browser session. Let me try an incognito window here. There we go. You can't be logged into 5.0 and 433 at the same time um, in the same session. Um, loads the values different ways, right? Um, okay, so um, if we go here to, sorry, I just wanted to show you the REST API call since we were talking about REST API. And um, so intranet and standards. And if we wanted to go here and click on one of these and the what's changed and then if we want to look at how this is pulling, I'm doing, and I'm going to show you the JSON tool, a JSON.fetch. But all I would have to do is take that URL, and you can see, you know, I'm using a an API call here. So I could load that into my URL and just take out this standard ID and then go get a standard ID. Uh, da, 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 manual. Like I said, this is just some test data. So I will get um, this one right here. I'm going to edit the content to get his ID. And we don't need presentation layer, you know, at all. We just have to hit it, right? And so I'm getting every single version of every single change, you know. So there's several different ways that the API can help you and get, you know, whatever you need. And you can build your own REST endpoints very, very easily um, to access all of the data in the same ways that you can get at it in the presentation layer. So, and we'll be covering that JSON tool uh, here in our instance in just a little bit. Okay. So that's how to take a look at your own content-based feeds using a, a XML or JSON. If you wanted to, um, uh, once again, 
take a look at our REST API doc. Just go to our documentation, which now is all for 5.0. REST, hit your REST API. Tons of different REST APIs. Starts off with everything about the content API. Um, but you can even submit new content types via REST API, do page layouts, you know, layout complete pages using REST API only um, inside of an app. And here down here is the REST API endpoints. So exposing all of the different pathways to get at each of the types of objects via the REST API. Okay, so just search REST in our documentation. It gives you that complete section.